Hey guys, welcome back to Tea with Phil and Jen. Today we're gonna talk about how to choose your very first Easy Clay teapot. So Easy Clay teapot can be actually a very extensive topic, and everybody have their own aesthetics. But in today's video, we're gonna look at it from a more realistic and、um, like everyday use kind of angle. So if you are interested, just keep on watching. So the very first thing to choose a Yixing clay teapot is actually to choose a real one. Though the Yixing clay teapots are not extremely rare in the market, it is also not rare to see fake ones. Actually, a couple of years ago, there were news pieces talking about、um, how people were faking、uh, Yixing clay teapots with non-food grade、uh, materials and actually dangerous to human body. So the price doesn't reflect、uh, all, and I'm not suggesting you to get hundreds of thousands of dollars using clay teapot. Those extremely cheap ones can be suspicious too. So please get that from the trusted sources. When choosing a using clay teapot, shape matters not in the aesthetic sense, but to consider practically about the opening of a teapot. This is the time you want to think about what is the tea you are going to brew in your new teapot. So this teapot has a moderate size opening, and if I'm planning on brewing some tea guanyin in it, it's actually perfect. Very easy to put the leaf through. But if you are going to brew some yancha in it, sometimes it can be messy. So if the dry leaves of the tea you are planning on brewing. It's quite big. This kind of a big opening would make your everyday tea brewing much easier. Usually, we don't suggest brewing green tea, yellow tea, or young white tea in Yixing clay teapot because those、uh, types of teas feature in really refreshing, light, beautiful aromas that are、uh, greatly affected by the porous material. And another thing I want to、uh, mention about teapot is actually colors. Yixing clay teapot features quite a range of different colors, but for beginner, I think it's safer to stay away from the really light color. So this Duanyi teapot is actually my, one of my favorite teapots. But if you take a closer look, you will notice the tea stain at the bottom of the teapot. So this is because. I just let it sit on my tea、uh, tea table, and sometimes my tea table doesn't drain perfectly, and it sits in the tea for too long, and I didn't take care of that right away. So if you are not、um, extremely diligent to teapot care, it is better to start with some darker shades rather than the lighter color teapot. Last but not least is actually you want to make sure your teapots pour well, so. There are many tips and hacks in terms of how you can tell if a teapot pours well or not. I think the easiest way is actually put in some clear water and test it all out. Do they do smooth pour and、uh, crisp stop? Is the flow smooth? And that's basically what you are looking for. And you know, once you have teas in it, sometimes the tea leaves get clogged in the teapot, and it will actually affect the tea,、uh, the pouring, the flow. And this is your baseline. If with clear water it doesn't pour well, it will be hard for the teapot to pour well with actual teas in it. Now we've chosen our teapot. It's time to season it. So there are many ways to season teapot, from the very simple of not doing it, just jump straight in brewing, to the most complicated method that I heard, including tofu, yes, the tofu, and、uh, sugar cane.、Uh, I know I feel that's a little bit bizarre too.、Uh, so there are many ways to do it, and I'm just gonna show you how I do this. Let's fill in the pot with some cold water and a cloth, and put the teapot on top of the cloth. Bring it to a boil, 
and the cloth would actually protect the teapot from clinking once the water boils. And turn down the water once it boils, and let it sit on gentle boil for about twenty minutes. Turn it off, and let it return to room temperature when it's comfy for your finger to get the teapot out. So once the teapot is boiled, you take it out and put some、uh, tea that you planned for this teapot, and put it in the hot water. And let it sit overnight. It really doesn't matter how much leaves you put in the teapot because we're not going to drink this tea. This is just like a process to get the teapot familiar with this kind of tea, get familiar with the aroma, the liquor. So in the end, we will just dump this、uh, tea. And I also mentioned that I suggest overnight, but if you only do that for four hours, five hours, I think that those all works. Some of you may wonder if I should dedicate one teapot to a specific tea, or brew all kinds of tea in a teapot. So my approach is actually I have teapots that are for one tea, and also teapots for different teas. There are three things I consider when making my decisions. First is how expensive is this teapot. So the higher the grade of the teapot,、uh, uh, the clay grade, the、uh, the better the craftsmanship. I tend to dedicate it, the teapot to one specific tea. And the second thing I、uh, usually consider is actually how often do I use this teapot? Me, for example, I drink a lot of Tie Guan Yin, so I have several teapots for Tie Guan Yin tea. And、uh, I drink、uh, black tea less, so I have one teapot that I use for all the black teas. So I have a nice rotation in terms of using my teapot. I don't want any of my teapot sit on the shelf and get dusty. And last but not the least is how similar the aroma and the tasting profile of the teas. For example, I have a teapot just for Yan Cha. So we know there are many different teas in the rock tea family, but all of them features that rock tea flavor, that dark chocolate, granite, like tobacco kind of flavor. So I think they are a nice group. So I actually have a teapot for all of them. But in the end, it is actually your teapot. So however you choose, I think it's all fine. I hope today's video is helpful for you to choose your very first eating teapot. And be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram. Until next time, keep it steepy.